hey guys in this video i'm going to show you a little bit about linear regression and how to predict values using the sas so the prediction of value will be done using linear regression so this is the data set which i am going to use for linear regression which is x and y so the x is the predictor variable and o is the response variable so now i will try to find what will be the value if my x is 6 so currently we don't have 6 8 10 in this data set so i will try to find what will be the corresponding value of y when the unknown values are given so i cannot uh, predict what is the value of 12 because the linear regression will fit only the value given uh, between the training data set so i will first just tell you a little bit about the linear regression so we use linear regression only for continuous variables so if you see here x is and continuous variable and o is and another continuous variable so the idea behind linear regression is it will plot this x value in the x-axis and the y value in the y-axis so this name can be different but the thing you have to remember is whenever uh, whatever thing you need to predict it should be in the y-axis and whatever the uh, dependent variable sorry independent variable that should be in the x so the, we can uh, there is a concept called multiple linear regression where you will have uh, many predictor variables so there are several terms like uh, some will call dependent variables some will call predictor so those are just the terms which came from books and in SAS they call it as predictor and O is response so uh, how we are going to do this so first we have this is the formula to predict a value in a linear regression uh, so if you want to find a new value for x so we will plug in the new value here and you need to find this unknown values a and b so the a is called the intercept b is the slope so i will show you um, practically how it is done so first first step of the linear regression is you need to draw the plots so let me take a black color and 5 9 so 5 comes here and 9 somewhere be between here and 7 13 7 6 7 and 13 and 9 16 8 9 and 16 I should come here and 11 and 19 so this is the plot so uh, I have taken this data specifically to make the linear regression easy so uh, all the times the data won't be this like linear way like uh, the increasing or uh, decreasing way it will be very random maybe here 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 should be it will be like this I will undo those now uh, the idea behind linear regression is you will need to find a line which is closer to all the points so let me try to draw it so I'm just trying to draw the line so this line is pretty close to all data set maybe I can move a little bit we'll select it and I am moving it So again this is closer even the line if I draw here even this is closer to two points so the idea is I need to use the linear regression to draw a line which is close very close to all the points so I can't do this manually so this formula actually does that so let's go to the data set in SAS and try to predict the new values so uh, how the new value will be predicted is we, we will get the a and b and I know the x is going to be 6 so I will use the x and this line is uh, as, as this line is drawn based on this formula I right, go straight and hit the line and if I go again straight and hit this line you will get the value I can say it's around 11 but 
the computer the algorithm gives you the perfect least value so here this is the slope the line which you have drawn is the slope and intercept is if you extend the line further it will hit somewhere the y axis so you can decrease the y axis this way and it will hit somewhere here so that line is called as an intercept so let's move on to sas to start predicting the values i will first show you the proc regression program how to find that values of a and b in sas use use this uh, reg which is the regression linear regression procedure for sas so i have named my data as data and model this is the keyword and the variable name which are going to this is our response variable y is my response variable here and x is my predictor so you can uh, if you have many predictor variable you can you give space and write another another variable like this so since i have only one i am giving one and run so what you are seeing here right now is the output of the proc rec procedure it gives you many many uh, statistical values so uh, one thing i used to notice much is this uh, analysis of variance this will say that if the value is greater than 0.5 there is no linear relationship so what is linear relationship so if 5 uh, if the predictor value is 5 the response is 9 and if it's 7 it's uh, response value is 13 so if you see the one unit increase in x there is some unit of increase in y value so this is called linear uh, if there is no if there is no uh, increase in that value of y then there is no linear relationship or there should be a negative linear relationship so if it is below 0.5 then uh, the our model we can proceed proceed with this linear regression and uh, so here is the intercept parameter estimator so this is our intercept 1.05 and this is uh, value of b 1.65 so here a is 1.05 and b is 1.65 so uh, i can directly write the formula so if my value of x is going to be 6 then i just need to substitute the a and b here i will get the y value that's uh, in sas you can do it very simple way now that's the prediction part now i'm going to uh, let's say I will create a new for this um, particular prediction you need to create a new data set so first I will create a data which contains the data only which I am going to predict so I am going to predict now I am going to give those three values in x so the value i am going to predict is 6 8 and 10 so this is a data step to create a new data which has only uh, three values in x column 6 8 and 10 so let me run it and i will show you so some i have did some mistake Okay, so this is my data set uh, of predict. Now we have to join this two data set. So 
so this will have the old data set and the new one so the output will be like this one so uh, 6 8 10 doesn't have corresponding y values now i will do the same proc regular this time but i'm going to add two options here x slash p so p says that print and id so you need to have id to show the values so if you don't give the id you won't get um, the x value displayed in the output so it will be a little confusing so this is the old output now we see here it has given me six for six the value is 10.95 so how this value uh, has arrived it's just uh, that formula o equal to x a plus bx so let me calculate using my calculator to show you this uh, right one so value is 6 6 multiplied by um, this is the b value 1.65 it is 9.9 .9 and I need to add with 1.05 plus 0 0.05 plus 0.05 which gives you 10.95 so the result is here is 10.95 and another thing you have to understand is this A and B has their own formula so it's not very important since any tools like Excel or Python SAS directly calculates those value for you so it's not necessary to know that uh, for linear regression this is a simple this regression is called simple linear regression and this is a formula you need to understand and every time the value a and b won't suffice sometimes there will be some errors which we will get in error output if you add those error you will get the correct line so since our uh, um, x and y value correlates very well that's why you don't have any errors if there is less correlation then you might get better thanks guys thanks for watching this video